about this? Jamal Smith will jump against Lauren Betts. And we're underway. And you know what I hope to say, Mary? We're underway in the first quarter. I love it. Uh, <laughs> we love the quarters on the women's side. Here comes the double when she puts it on the floor. And right inside, Lauren Betts gets a touch on her first possession as a Bruin. And UCLA extends some full court pressure. And you saw early you, uh, with Purdue coming with that double team when she put it on the floor. And it made no difference. Purdue team that worked a lot on pick and pop, a lot on two man game. Sometimes can be a little anxious when you haven't played yeah. for a while. Red Lake clock who's going to go. And a nice take by Layden, cleared by Dugalich for UCLA. Team that wants to run. Yeah, I asked Corey Close that today. She said she wants to be top five in tempo. We've got the backcourt to do it. Nice block. Betts smothers the shot of Caitlin Harper. All right, 21 to shoot for Purdue. That was a nice reversal. Abby Ellis, fifth year player from Melbourne. Third try is the charm for London Joe. Loose ball back to midcourt and out of bounds. Mary Ashley's dad. <laughs> He's here. Yeah, Gary Stevenson is the first president of our network. There's a three knockdown. So Kiki Rice being recruited by other schools when she was not allowed back into UCLA. Oh, Alice. And how does someone built like Abby Ellis get to the free throw line as much as she does? That's why yeah. she just puts her head down and finds a way. Third in the country last year in, in uh, free throw percentage, started her career at Cal Poly. Well, the gift is two parts. One, one is getting to the line, and then two, <laughs> making a count. Exactly right. Hitting the five minute mark of the first quarter. Nice little drop off there. Two good passes by the Bruins, and eventually Hawkins scores. Hawkins defending Stevenson now at Purdue. Just to the left of the key. Stevenson really wanted it down low. The crossover. And Ellis kicks it off to Terry. The same way when you go to Purdue and walk around their arena and their building. Great respect. Yeah, the timeout, Bruins have made four of seven shots so far, and they've assisted all four of their baskets. Dugalich. And he, she drains the three, so that's three made in the first quarter for UCLA. So excited to see Angela back playing. I mean, on their practice court, there's a basket that you could put her name on the floor. That's how many shots over the last couple of years she's taken there while she's been injured. Great story, her coming back. Nice job getting in the paint, scoring by Maya. It's a huge recruit for Purdue, but going to miss the year with an injury. Exactly right. She'll be back next year. They're very excited about her. She is with them on the trip. Nice. What well, quick catch and turn by Betts. Yeah, when you keep it high, you don't put it on the floor. How do you stop it? And Stevenson scores on her first shot. Yeah, you have to be willing if you're Purdue to just put your head down and try to make something happen. Oh, it's a nice set. Uh, I mean, what a nice feeling for a couple of the freshmen we've seen already for Purdue. Your first college game is at Pauley Pavilion? That's all right. <laughs> now, late clock, 35 feet or so away. They're going to have to heave one up. That'll be a violation. And it's for me, it's a good foul. Like you've got to try to get bets off that sweet spot. You just can't let her settle in and, and just oh the old yeah. off the backside <laughs> yeah. assist for Kiki yeah. Rice. 
every every player you learn it every player learns that in playground and you never think it's going to work in the under the bright lights and occasionally it does it certainly does Candace Parker pretty famous for doing that <laughs> Reynolds hoisting one there. Renew having a, a lost first quarter and shooting the ball. Just three of 13. And the Bruins are making theirs. London Jones. Did I tell you she loves that corner extended? <laughs> yeah. Timeout, Purdue. Right, driving in there. That was a good attempt by McKenna Layton. Three sets of sisters on the Purdue roster. One set won't play tonight because the younger Reynolds is not available. And clock Rice feeding Betts. Nicely done. You knew it was coming and you still can't yeah, stop it. That's right. Well, that's a nice first quarter for UCLA. They just played efficient basketball. 9 of 12 from the floor. Kiki Rice, you know it's coming. Just lofts it up there and says, go get it, Lauren Betts. What a first quarter by number four, UCLA. Most of them were contested. They're having a hard time just finding open shots. The defense for UCLA has been just solid. Janae Terry setting up that wing three that didn't go by Jayla Smith. Emily Bessoir for UCLA inside the bets. Well, you can see that the Bruins have worked on how to put bets into the offense. No doubt. Yeah. She's running the floor really well, also. That's a great call, Mary. That's. Boy, there was a nice look. That had a nice look to that shot by Jalen Smith. It's exactly what you need. I love the shot. If you're open, there haven't been many, so if it's early, so be it. But try to get it going a little bit. Inside bets again. Terry pushing quickly for Purdue. And she has a lane to go in. That's a nice job. You have those little benchmark stats you see a lot today. 150 assists and 200 rebounds each of the last two years. Two players have done that. Terry for Purdue, Caitlin Clark. That works. That's some good. That's yeah. a good place to be. When you're just one of three nationally, who averages six points, six rebounds, and six assists, that's special. Right now, the Boilermakers obviously needed some offense and. I'm sure Katie Gerald's is over there thinking a little defense wouldn't hurt either. Oh, look at Bats going up to keep that ball alive. Second try for UCLA. And that's going to be yeah, that's going to be a shoulder blast by Osborne and a foul. Uh, not, probably not set. Well, I think it's going to be interesting because she's got such a talented squad. It's going to be hard to keep some of these folks off the floor. Ellis. You know, Ellis is just one of those gritty players that every team needs yes. to have. And Purdue, both she and Terry, the veterans, rise to the occasion say, this is how we do it. This is what Boiler Up is all about. Watching this in the first half unfold, that's a great description as Jones hits another three. You cannot relax on London Jones because it looks like she's just rising, going down, but she's just rising up in a second. Three threes in the first half for London Jones. And five made for UCLA. Three ball eventually is picked up and put in. That's Caitlin Harper. London Jones will make you pay if you go under the screen. I'm sure Purdue might make an adjustment on that scout. Good leech. Gonna take her player there. She wanted that. She cleared out. She wanted to take two. Isn't that something I was something. talking with Corey Close about that yesterday? There's a three. That's another thing Purdue would really need. Harper hits a three. But as Mary was saying, the two players, Dugalic for Serbia, Bessoir for Germany. Germany has never qualified for the Olympic Games. And there are important games going on in the qualification process. And the point of all of it is 
that Corn Close is letting them, they're going to miss two UCLA games to do this. They will miss games also in February when yes, they both go to exactly. Brazil and play for the actual can you get to the Olympics. An experience for the players on this UCLA team, for example, to go back at some point in the next couple of years, they'll play games in the state of Indiana. What's even more astounding, you told me this before the game, I didn't know, Mary, that's the only national championship in the history of the Big Ten? That's right. In this sport? Well, Maryland won one, but they were with the ACC right, right. at that time. Ah, nice pick and pop. There's your call. And Stevenson missed the good look. Back comes UCLA. Two fouls, by the way, on Cameron Brown. And inside Dugalich. But the tightness of that. She's going to be playing a whole lot more guard than she did a year yes. ago, where she was playing wherever they needed, but oftentimes is at the four spot. Boom! Made three, so here's what Purdue needed after exactly an right. ice cold first quarter. Harper makes another one. They're starting to make shots. But what kept them close? They took care of the basketball. Only three turnovers so far in this game. So you can shoot poorly, but you still can stay in a ball game if you take care of it. Inviting Cameron Brown to take that shot. Dugalich puts it down, goes right in, and gets fouled. And that's the kind of player that Cameron Brown is. Came back from an, an ACL injury, and she's been the model for Bessoir to our ACL. And both free throws knocked down. And Terry trying to get it in there against London Jones. It never goes in, and the long shot misses. As you know, Ted, sometimes you've got like one look, and yes. if you don't get it there, the opportunity is gone. And Jones does a nice job there. It's funny, uh, that's Jones on Jones, Rashunda Jones on the foul. And as something about that, you put the ball down and drive. <laughs> Kids very easily put yourself into an advantage situation. Harper wanted to shoot, couldn't get set. Inside. Whoa! And they're going to get opening some... night. I get a three-second call. Usually, you have to wait for February to get that call to remind me that rule still exists. I don't know. They, they're just coming right off the off-season. Yeah, I know. The, the point of emphasis. Yeah. Uh, ah, there you go. Well, that's some half. London Jones, four threes for the Bruins. It comes off that last drive, right? So now you're worried about that. Feet set there, did Harper, but yeah, that's, that's a big wingspan coming at you. Purdue got it to 10 at 31 21. It's as close as they got. That's double down, almost three on her to force her to give it up. Nice back tap, Dugalich. Still time. Good reset by UCLA. Kiki Rice. Oh, but had it all the way. And Batch does put it in. That was a really poised possession. The reset. The reset. They're becoming winners. Exactly right. And how far can you go with, with six sophomores playing major minutes? We're going to find out. With a push move inside there in a basket by Jayla Smith. Gosh, you know how many years have gone by for us? I was around when there was a team with five freshmen that almost won the national championship <laughs> 30 years ago. It can happen. Yeah. Over the top to bats. How about that pass from Chris yep. Osborne? Got it over Caitlin Harper. I played with her this summer with USA Basketball, but that's like a quarterback just dropping that red thing right in. Now Lauren Betts in the, now has 12 points in 13 minutes of play. 13 and now in 13. I think in last year she averaged just under 10 minutes a game. Six points, so... Early indication that 
is going to be a focal point of the UCLA offense. Yeah, they've done a nice job of really just finding a way for her to, to be on the floor but not get away from the things that they love to do. We haven't seen Kiki Rice drive as much as she did a year ago, but I'm sure those opportunities will develop. Nice play. Well, that was well done. And Ellis finishes inside for Purdue. So impressed with what she's done in this ball game. There you go. Get no. Oh, look at it. Well, Ellis tried to come on the baseline, just missed, and Ben scores it again. She was like a blocker in volleyball who just couldn't <laughs> quite get the ball. And now Ellis has it taken from her by Rice. And then Rice will be called for a charge. The second foul on Rice and UCLA setting up pressure off the Purdue inbounds. And creates the turnover. And a quick two, Dugalich. Well, that's textbook. Yeah, pressure really can yep. start impacting things. Purdue getting themselves in a hurry. It's when you start making yeah. mistakes. That's a great look. You can see it. Ellis there was trying to calm them down. And there's the good effort inside by Terry. I don't think you can when you've got eight newcomers on. It's tough. Very close. Wasn't really sure how the game came about. It just so happened they found out Purdue needed a game. UCLA was happy to have a game. And again, the history between these two schools. Obvious, nice finish, reversed by Hawkins. Up, off of Layden, out of bounds. What has been, you know, Mary, it's been long talked about. What this conference and this network in its lifespan have done for women's basketball. Well, I think to a coach, you, you yeah. know what it's done because it's just elevated. And we saw the epitome of that elevation today as USC at number 21 in the country beat number seven Ohio State and just finishing in Las Vegas Colorado upsets number one LSU a stunning opening night for the Pac-12 Conference. That might affect the uh, NASDAQ index tomorrow morning, huh? Brief. Congratulations J.R. Payne and Lindsey Gottlieb. Uh, rebound put back by Hawkins. Bets one more time. And you can't wait for every game because it's just going to be epic. How about when UCLA plays USC twice? It's going to, the games are just going to be amazing. But for tonight, for Colorado, all the focus on Coach Prime and it's Coach J.R. Payton. And Terry hits a two for Purdue. I wonder if she ever played with chain nets in the playgrounds. They still exist, I think. Drive and finish by Gabriela Jaquez. Run the floor. Great job by the freshman Muse. And she just splits it. Maintain, maintains her control. Head up. Nothing there. You've seen some Jaquez yeah. play in the well, past season. Let me ask you a question. Because when Jaime got here and we watched him play the first few games, you could see he knew what he was doing. And he's been so well coached. And, of course, the family involved there. But so well coached. And it, it carried through his entire career here. Do you see the same with Gabriella? Yeah, and I think what you're going to see is just continue to get better. And she's going to have to, as each of these players are, if you want minutes in this highly competitive lineup. I mean, Amanda Muse played in the McDonald's All-American game. That's how highly touted and respected she was coming out of high school. Oh, nice little last drop step there by Mary Ashley Stevenson. It's the basket. That's her third basket in her first college game. Because you'd rather make that decision now than in March. And just before the timeout, but still on the floor, is the player you talked about. Well, there you go. Osborne. A nice drive. Oh, just hung and missed, but there's Stevenson. I mean, I I've heard, heard of a lot of high schools in New York City. So yeah, I've never heard of it. And, uh, Gary, we had a nice visit with Gary again, the, the original president of this network. A little different competition, probably a higher level. And nice 
job way. Cameron Brown bringing it all the way down and set what your teammates can and where you want to give them the ball. Because you want to be effective when you're on the floor, and that's challenging. tough defensively you got to sell out on Bessoir she's such a great three-point shooter she just kicks it over to Osborne who knocks down the three you can't be everywhere now that one moment in the second quarter when Purdue pulled to 10 UCLA said stop it we stopped it and since that timeout it's been all Bruins and you just explain why I don't even participate in preseason polls and the way this the way this endeavor has changed when you look at the LSU team they had so many high-level people transfer into their program. They could shoot the three. Frida Foreman, 7 of 11 from three. Well, Pac-12 women's basketball has already made an impact on this night, as Mary told you. It wins by USC and Colorado. And now this is the highest-ranked preseason team. And through three quarters, pretty emphatic. And it is, I mean, for all of us, especially in this conference, it is a moment of jar to see that kind of a thing and see schools and not see Stanford in there. They are 15. Let, let me just but, rest rest your but. your mind on that. I went to a practice a couple weeks ago. They're going to be just fine. Okay. An incredibly talented play defense, move, work, find the open shot. You have to tell Abby Ellis that. Charter back home to West Lafayette after this ball game and arrive home probably about five with the time change in West Lafayette. Kitty Gerald, who has such great respect for Corey Close, talked about her during the week. How helpful with the, all the work in the, with the WBCA that Corey Close has done. And out, she reaches out to younger coaches and just encourages them. What do you need to know? How can I help you? Good rebound by Hawkes and create the contact. The emphasis she really put in the offseason, trying to work on that three point shot. And again, that's very similar to her brother. So Jaime really last year become the best three point shooter of his UCLA career. What a pass by Kiki Rice. But what that does, she, she might not be leading it, but she's forcing the post players from Purdue to run with her. And that can really tire out posts. Good call. That's why. Oh, nice little play by Abby Ellis. She just finds angles. And when you're, you're her size, you've got to find them. you got to hunt them. You see why she's been an honorable mention down two years in a row all big ten Nice play there by charisma Osborne Back in for UCLA. Well, again, the good ball movement. And Rice knocks down the three. First second. Boy, the pop of the movement yes. with this UCLA team is so vastly improved from a year ago. It just isn't sticking anywhere. It's a foul there on the drive by Jayla Smith. She's super basketball. excited about it. And for Angela, she will fly to Serbia. They will play there on Thursday night and then to North Macedonia to play on Sunday. And Emily Bessoir will fly to, uh, it's not Czechoslovakia anymore, it's Czechia, I believe. Ruhaha in the NHL because so many NHL players want to play in the Olympics. It's massive in their countries. 
And when business gets in the way, the players aren't happy. Ugalich missing. I have a feeling it's going to be the same in, in this sport. Yeah, no doubt. Just imagine those two players. You've got to get ready for this ball game. You've got to pack for your trip. You've got to get your academics in order. That was a little deeper three. Got a nice push on that ball. Just let their guards run free, trying to find some steals up top. These two games about Juju Watkins, Frida Foreman. I'm sure most of America has never heard of Frida Foreman. Or Nettie Vonley, the post player for Colorado, or J.R. Payne. Well, they saw today what people out here know about, and that is we have a lot of great teams in the back. One sister subs in for the other, Elena Harper, who's a sophomore, just checked in for her older sister, Caitlin. We get three sister combos on this Purdue team. And that creates a really different dynamic for a squad. No way. London Jones. Good looking shot, her fifth three of the night. And I really believe as a sophomore in her first game, is just scratching the surface of how great she can be. Well, she just tied her career high. It's the third time she's had five threes in a game. <laughs> Meanwhile, Monson was concerned about the turnovers because they've been struggling with that in the two preseason. Well, that's <laughs> there you go, career high. Yeah, you talked about heat check. No cool off there. 13 turnovers for UCLA. It was a real strong suit a year ago. Only averaged 13 a game. Esquire picks the pocket. And Rice back in transition is blocked by Stevenson. They are still, every minute one of these players is on the floor, they are bringing it on both ends. Nice follow. Big smile on the face. Both her mom and dad played at UC Santa Barbara. Scored on lie. Scored doesn't lie. Man. But we talked to them. Before the game about the dynamic backcourt when you think about rice Osborne and London Jones and you're trying to game plan with that along with bets and best and the rest of the talent up front It's be tough to slow this team down Lane violation will give best another attempt You got another game to work <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coming up again at 8 30 Pacific time will be UCLA St. Francis, the men's opener. Well, UCLA, top 10 team that was not upset on right. this night. Right. And that's the point. And uh, one of the things which Corey Close talked about is on opening night, you do these double headers because you want people to pay attention to your team, to your program, and see how good they are. And a nice reception here for the UCLA team. Well, if you didn't enjoy this, you don't love basketball because what an opening night and 